So that was uh, our separate analysis where we are doing a comprehensive analysis on mental cell lymphoma transformation. Transformation in mental cell lymphoma is generally overlooked or uh, underlooked I would say. So blastoid or pleomorphic histomorphology with the collaboration with our hematopathology and genomics colleagues, we tried to collect a lot of samples. Uh, at least 183 patients were included in the clinical uh, outcome analysis and we were able to show that patients who have de novo blastoid had a significantly better outcome compared to those which are transformed. And then in terms of genomic analysis, we were able to clearly show that these patients are different from non-classic never transformed mental cell lymphoma. So these patients are predominantly having uh, aggressive histology mutations such as cyclin D1, T53, uh, NSD2 and these mutations were, were analysis was performed with paired germline centers in uh, germline samples with the whole exome sequencing. So this is the first time this type of analysis was envisaged in a large number of samples and we are also able to show that patients with high KI67 mental cell lymphoma has a very different genomic profile compared to patients with low KI67 mental cell lymphoma in an aggressive histology setting. So these differences would further uh, unravel the molecular heterogeneity in mental cell lymphoma which has never been addressed earlier. But uh, the caveat is that these are a limited number of samples because the quality of DNA which we got from the paraffin blocks was less. So we are uh, doing more studies on copy number analysis to identify, to dissect the molecular heterogeneity in much more finer detail. However, we are able to show very good clinical data on these patients. So these patients, subsets should be considered uh, uh, while uh, enrolling patients into clinical trial or while uh, assessing the prognosis of these patients at the time when you discuss the treatments with the patient. So patients must be um, made aware that these uh, histologies have different clinical implications. So that's what my analysis is going to show.